And then, uh, yeah, I think those two definitely got me on my path. And then once I became an account executive, again, I tried hardworking and hustling my way because I thought maybe that's the path to success. And I actually ended up doing pretty well, um, well over my quota, but I was very unfulfilled, like highly, probably the unhappiest I think I'd ever been. So I had to figure out the answer to this equation and I ended up finding a lot of things. I think, um, success is only success when you can combine achievement and fulfillment. It's not one or the other. Like if I'm going to achieve a bunch of things, that's great. But you, you see, like, I think, uh, I think out of the top 10 richest folks in the world, there's been 14 divorces. Wow. Huh. And that's not something I want for my life. Not to say that I'm going to be one of the top 10 richest people in the world, but you know, a lot of people mm -hmm. base their, they base their, you know, measure of success on money, wealth, you know, achievements, accomplishments, followers, fame. Mm. And I don't want that unless I can feel fulfilled at the same time. So then my path became, okay, how do I combine achievement with fulfillment? So achievement is a lot of, a lot of the how to fulfillment is a lot about how you're showing up on a day-to-day -day basis. And so I struggled with finding this definition of like, okay, what does fulfillment actually mean? And I think the definition, at least that I've come up with um, up to this point is fulfillment is the pursuit of excellence in your craft and service of others. Hmm. And as long as I continue to do that, I think I'll find a life, build the life that I'm happy with and that I can, you know, hopefully continue to see quote unquote success with. Um,